What's up guys, and today I have for you the completion of my epic Avengers Endgame toy haul. Sorry it took a while, school is evil. Oh, and I added the Power FX Captain Marvel as a bonus figure to this bunch as you probably already saw on the thumbnail. Anywho, I'll likely have seen Endgame by the time you see this, which is awesome and sad at the same time because like, when's the next Avengers movie gonna be now? But either way, I'm sure it'll be a fitting end to the Infinity Gauntlet saga. And last video I had a subscriber shoutout request, so let's go ahead and do some subscribers shoutouts. First out the gate is Max Studios 13, followed by Fernando's Toys and more. Dude Guys, Aiden Grossman, Desiree Smith, Iron Man underscore KYNE25, Sean Poole, Cabs TDP slash slash KB dash The Devil Plays. Wow, that's a long name. Mer Sab Name. And finally, Odd Alien. Now if you didn't get shouted out this time, no worries. Just keep an eye out for the next shout out request video and put your request in the comment of that video. But either way, all you guys are awesome whether you got a shout out or not and I think you are the best subscribers this side of YouTube. And with that said, let's get her done. Starting with boxes, here's a closer look at the front of their open window awesomeness. There's the top with the cool teen glam shots. Here's one side with the instructions on how to use them. And the other side with some rocking glam shots. And here's the back of the boxes with some wording and the other dudes in the line. And here's their respective UPCs. You got the Hulk here, Iron Man there, War Machine, and Captain Marvel. And there they are, guys, out of the package. And man, they are big. Just look, here, here's a little, little rocket there. Look how huge they are. But anyway, since War Machine was your guys' top pick in the poll, we're gonna go ahead and start with him first. Now starting with his head here, we got a new beefed up face design. He looks ready for war. The sculpting overall is pretty decently defined and, you know, pretty clean overall. And the paint is pretty simple. There's just silver and then the red, but they're pretty clean overall. And the eyes look pretty decent too with the red. So yeah, it's a pretty cool face. I like it. And moving into the body, man, we get a super beefed up armor sculpt. It's just like, wow, I really dig all this extra armor they have. I mean, it's based off the movie, but still, they think they sculpted it pretty well. The paint is pretty decent overall. There's a little bit of overspray on those portions there, but not too bad. I kind of wonder what these are. They're like, I don't know, life support systems or something. And on the back, it's missing all paint whatsoever, but the sculpting's there and it's pretty nice. It looks like he has some additional jet packs there. Pretty cool. I guess he's just like, he's super fly. I wonder if this is like his spacesuit or something. Got some little dots there as well. Then you got the power effects connector point up here, which is also located on his arm. So they they kind of double dip there, which is kind of weird. I don't know why, because they only give you one in a power effects pack. You also get that little thing there that's on his arm, that's on everybody's arm. Super beefed up arm. Just check that out. Look at all that armor. It's cray cray. Then there's hand here. You got the repulsor blast in there super detailed arms and then hands I mean hands and then you got this arm which looks just like the other one pretty cool beefed up and everything except this one has some nice paint on it thankfully a little bit of silver like the side the shiny silver this side I guess I guess since it's being covered by the power effects it's like oh well and the legs continue super armor mode with that crazy sculpting and contouring details just look at that it's like wow now we do get a little silver paint up there on the upper thighs which is pretty nice overall but that that's the only paint that you get on the legs here. Looks like he has some more jet packs to go with his little back here. So I don't know. I'm really thinking this might be like War Machine spacesuit mode or something. Either way, it's like Thanos Buster. Actually, actually, I wonder if they're gonna have like a Hulk Buster version of him or something. That that'd be pretty cool. The bottom of the feet there, pretty plain. Marbling and articulation-wise, he is a Titan hero, so there's not much. The arm spins goes up about that much. The hand does have rotation, but it gets stuck there because of the top portion for the power. Power effects. This one though spins nice and freely and his leg goes that far up not very much at all and it doesn't go back at all but he does have very impressive splits. And accessory wise he comes with these three cannons right here this one being the top cannon and it's you know pretty cool like I guess it's kind of just stamped plastic so not, nothing too special that's a connection point there these two here are essentially the same if you take a look at them their design overall they have some detailing on the inside so that's pretty nice at least they did that but overall it's a very basic design there and if you look here even though they're really close and similar they're slightly off on the pegs there let me line that up 
you see that this one's a little further back. So they actually, they're, speci they're specific to each arm. So let's go and put them on. All right, now for the arm ones, they're not actually labeled at all. So <laughs> if it doesn't fit, then you know you're on the wrong arm. Okay, that one fit there. Then we'll put this other one. It should fit in here because the other one went that way. So that goes there. Those are solid. They're non-articulate. This one though, when you stick that right in the top hole right there, just like so, at least has some spinning movement. It gets stuck on his head, but it, it, it can move at least. And here's what he looks like with all his cannons attached. And now on to Hulk. Starting with his head, he has a very impressive face sculpt. I mean, just look at all the details and contouring. It's really nice. It actually almost looks like Mark Ruffalo. The paint job up there is pretty nice too with the eyes and the eyebrows. But honestly, if, I mean, this is no Hot Toys, but if you put the right paint job on his face, it would it would give Hot Toys a run for his money. So that's, that's really impressive, especially for this $15 figure. The hair looks pretty awesome too there. Nice details. Then there's the top, all his puffy hair. Looks like smart performance. Professor Hulk. And moving into the body, we got a Titan sized tech suit sculpt there looking pretty sweet overall with its sculpting and details. I'm actually really liking how it's kind of glossy. I mean, it gives it a toy look, but at the same time, it's more of a spacey suit look too with that shininess. And then you got the A up there. The red here is nice, although I wish they had added the red there and there, and it's also missing from up here too. So, I mean, overall, this whole bodysuit sculpt is pretty nice, but these top portions here, are, they leave more to be desired. And on the back, we get more of that cool tech suit detailing there. And unlike War Machine, we actually get paint on the back there. It's very simple, but it's there. And overall, it actually looks pretty nice. Lots of details, just like on the basic figures. Then you got the power effects point right there, which is also on the arm. You got some more paint on the arm. They're really buff. You got the little arm hand thing there, which we'll just find. I wish I knew what it was called. Then you got his hand here with his cool little fingers. Got some nice paint going on there. Then you got this arm there too with the nice detailing and paint. And this one actually has red on it. And then they skipped on this side, probably because it has the power effects to block it. And then you get his super buff rhino legs again, which is nicely detailed with some more of that suit texturing and piping looking pretty spacey. I am liking the texturing on the suit a lot though because it actually looks like carbon fiber especially with that kind of shininess. This is flat and then you got the little carbon fiber on his booty again. So this is definitely a different material if you're you know talking like real life suit there and then you got that there the silver is probably armor piece or something then you got more of that there then you got his feet with his big old nicely sculpted toes there which I don't understand because I mean if this is a, a, a suit shouldn't his fingers and toes be covered? I mean, with Ant-Man, I, I can see his helmet popping on like Ant-Man, but I, the fingers and toes, I mean, I, what, what? And articulation-wise, his arm rotates in a circle, and his shoulder goes up that much. His hand does rotate, but also gets stuck, just like on War Machines, except this side spins freely, just like on War Machines. And his legs goes that far forward, which is much better than War Machine, but also not back, just like War Machine. I'm having a lot of comparisons to War Machine, including his splits. Now it's iron time. Starting with a head sculpt, he looks pretty decent overall, although it looks like just a kind of bigger version of the basic figure, so it's it's not bad because I do like that head sculpt, although it does seem a little strangely proportion there, long length and width wise. But either way, the paint is kind of, I like the gold and the blue looks decent, but it's kind of hit or miss, like you can see some little kind of not you know, little light spots there. And then this, I don't know, this like smudge, smudgy, mix, smudge, smudge, and some chips there. So not the cleanest. I probably should have looked closely before I, I, I got this one, but eh. And moving into the body, he's got some nice sculpting and texturing, lots of details there. There's that kind of textured carbon fiber, although it's not as shiny as Hulk. I, I, I still like that shiny Hulk. And he's got the A there, and then just kind of lackluster top portions here. Although one strange thing about him is he's just strangely proportioned. I mean, just, Look at how kind of strangely thin that body is and that too and I, I, I'm getting like flashbacks to the, the, the Thor 2 pack with Rocket but oh well whatevs. Anyways there's the little power pack effects thing there, the little connection point, there's more of the back and then here's his arm with that connection point as well, there's that thingy thing. Then it's got some pretty decent you know sculpted arms there, lots of details as well, more 
texturing on the inside and then this too has the red paint here and it's missing from this arm. Now he does have repulsor blast sculpted into both of his hands so that's pretty nice. And looking at his legs we get a more Iron Man-esque leg sculpt although it's very skinny. Now his thighs have more robotic details for like an Iron Man suit but that texturing I mean it looks cool but I, I kind of like the the Hulk's texturing better because it has that shiny. The Hulk looks more like a space suit. This looks more just just I don't know, just robotic or something. But either way, it still has some nice designs there. There's that, and then there's the bottom of the feet feet. And for articulation land, his head rotates in a circle. Doesn't have any side to side, but it does have a little bit of up and down. And I just realized I forgot to show you Hulk. He does the same thing too. His head also rotates a little bit harder because it's just a tight joint. And not really any side to side, it's very minimal and then a little bit of up and down if you'd call it that. And back to Iron Man, his arm rotates and shoulder joint goes up that much, not very much. And then his hand actually rotates almost completely. He gets stuck on the thumb there with his top portion, although the other hand flows freely in a circle. And his legs go that far forward, the best of the bunch, but also not back, just like the rest of the bunch. And he too has splits. And Iron Face Man comes with this little power pack accessory here, which has a design that I'm honestly kind of... I have no idea what it's supposed to be. I guess that's a blade, but it's electric blade or something. Either way, he also comes with this little dart here that you can just plug in. It's not too soft, it's pretty stiff, so just stick that in there, and then you can push this button here and it blasts away. In the back here is a cover that houses the three LR44 batteries, which thankfully are included. And of course, this right here is a connector that plugs right into the figure, just like the Infinity War Power FX figures. And you can choose to plug it into his arm there, just like so. Or, if you want, you can also plug it into his back, just like that. Oh, where's a click? Oh, no click. Oh, well. But it plugs in. And that's what he looks like with it on his arm and on his back. Looks kind of weird. And now it's time for Captain Marvelous Lady. Starting with her head, she has a pretty decent face sculpt. It's definitely no Brie Larson, but you know, it's pretty cleanly sculpted and the paint's not too bad. It's a little smudge right there, but overall it's pretty cool. The hair looks pretty decent too. Nice waves and everything. It has a weird part here, but I guess it's so that you could plug the power pack in. So it, it has a functional design to it. And it's pretty soft too, so it gets out of the way when you turn the head. And her body has that super sweet Captain Marvel suit sculpt, which I really like. I honestly think Captain Marvel's suit is like the best of the MCU. Let me move her head, do a little exorcist there so you can get a better look. I really like the colors and paint that they use for it. It's like, it's pretty cleanly applied over there. The star is kind of hit and miss, so definitely check that before you grab one if you can. But it's very bright and vibrant. There's a little skin tone paint there that kind of blob there. I don't, I don't know what happened, but oh well, I guess, I guess <laughs> maybe she punched the guy so hard his face paint just landed on that. Anyways, pretty nice design overall. And the back looks pretty awesome too. Whoa, it, let me turn that back around. That's pretty creepy. And the back looks pretty nice too. Just, you know, pretty simple. No real paint except for the top portion here, but I do like the colors. It just really looks nice. And that design is great. Little power pack hole there. And her arm sculpt is the best of the bunch with lots of paint. Love that red and that gold looks really great pretty cleanly applied too and they added some paint there too that nice metallic blue and then they actually added some gold trimmings here too which is pretty impressive since she's a basic kind of titan hero a big basic figure so that's kind of impressive that they added that same thing for this here too they really did a good job on her arms on this one and then she got that big power pack there too and she's got an avengers logo instead of that little quantum suit thing so that's i think they just use the same mold for each one and then there's that's the inside. And moving into the legs, it's actually impressively accurate to the suit. I'm actually surprised. It's just, wow. They actually added some gold to the piping detail there, which is pretty nice. I always just, I love that gold on blue. It's just a really nice design. You got some more piping there. Her belt looks pretty nice as well. Show that. Although there's no gold on this portion here, which was, yeah, well, a give and take. She got some nice knee pads there, and her boots look pretty sweet, although they didn't add any gold piping there, so that's kind of a bummer. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this Titan Hero Captain Marvel. And for her articulation, her head rotates in a cycle and has a wee bit of side to side and goes up and down a little bit, and her hair actually doesn't get in the way of her movement, which is interesting. And her arm also rotates in a cycle and goes about that far 
far up, but interestingly, her hands don't rotate like the other figures, which is weird. But her leg does go that far forward, just like Iron Man, and she does too have super splits. And here's her power pack here, which I like way better than Iron Man's. I mean, just look at that gorgeous blue paint there, and then the red, and then the gold. Looks awesome. And then these flames here. I mean, the design is the same thing. I don't really know what, what it's going for, but looks way cooler than Iron Man's. And these right here are actually soft. I was not expecting that. It's squishy, so that's kind of cool. Then you got the battery cover, and then the attachment point, lots of screw holes. And she, too, comes with a little launcher thing right here. It's a different color, it's a goldish color, same thing, kind of a little bit bendy, but still pretty stiff. And you can stick that in there and then fire that away as well. And Iron Man's actually fits into it as well, so they're just the same one and, and stu she's trying to talk over me. Oh! Uh, guys, I, I may have lost those, those projectiles, I don't... No worth Oh, found him! And just like with Iron Man, you can choose to either plug it into her arm there, like so. Got the nice click to it. Or you can plug it into... Ah! Uh-oh. Did I break it? I don't want to break another toy this year! Uh-oh, it's stuck. Wow, that was really stuck on there. That was really strange. I just pulled really hard and, and prayed. But anyways, you can put it on the back here too as well if you want to do that. And there it is on her arm and on her back, which looks weird just like Iron Man did. Now if you want to, you can just kind of plug both of them in. You can get Iron Man's here if you want and then you can get Captain Models and it just looks really strange. I don't know what the point is. They both make the same sounds, you know, once they're plugged in it makes Captain Marvel noises, so I, it's it's some you, you can do it if you want. Yeah. And here's Iron Man doing the the same thing. It's just really odd and Definitely not not my first choice. Now these end game power packs here work just like the Infinity War power packs, which I can't seem to find a, a face macro pro tip. When you're moving, make sure you label boxes. But anyways, like I say, they work the same way where you just kind of plug this into any figure that has the power effects thing. And the little notches here will line up here and put the certain combination to give the specific figure voice. So this one, since it's Captain Marvel's, naturally is preset to Captain Marvel. This is preset to Iron Man. But you plug this one into Captain Marvel, it'll make Captain Marvel noises, vice versa, and if you plug this into Hulk, same thing. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to some sounds. All right, now let's go and plug this into Captain Marvel first here. Now, quick note: I've noticed that the ones that come with the Power Effects packs have about maybe four or five verbal sounds, and then like maybe three or four sound effects. And the ones that don't come with the Power Effects pack, like Hulk here, has about two verbal sounds and about two sound effects. But let's go and hear the first one. Alright, now let's go and get into some comparisons. Here they are next to some of their Endgame basic figure friends. And here they are next to the Wing Deploy Wasp from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Super awesome movie. Here's the Infinity War Titan hero Thanos. And the Shazam movie Thunder Punch Shazam. This family sticks together. Now one thing cool is you can actually put the power pack from the new Endgame figure right into the back of the old Infinity War one, just like so. Here's Iron Man's pack. Get that in there, it pops right in, and he makes Iron Man noises. Stop you from collecting the Infinity Stones. Okay, he makes Thanos, he made that Iron Man sound for a second. Wait, try again. My power cannot be matched by the likes of you. Your power is nothing compared to mine! 
Well guys, the reviews for my Endgame toy haul are now complete, finally. Now I'm sure Hasbro has more Endgame toys coming, but I may pick and choose next time because that haul was a lot of toys to review in a short time, like for real. But I did find something really cool that will be coming up next, so stay tuned for that. And after that, I think we should finally complete the Shazamly reviews with Pedro. Anywho guys, thanks for being my subscriber friends and joining me in every video, and I'll probably do more shoutout request videos, maybe like every few videos or so, something like that. I haven't decided yet, but just keep an eye out for those. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.